What's up, everybody? I'm about to get this AN wideband. It's an older version, but it'll still do the job. I think it's a 40, 4100 series. And uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how to wire, wire these into the K Pro. And uh, I'm gonna hurry up and get this thing done because uh, that way I can start driving this MR2 around and getting the tune a little bit closer. You get two of these in with the new Honda data, and they're both the same. And you have on this, you have the digital over here on this side and the analog over here on this side. So we're gonna run an analog for the wideband. So we're gonna run it on, I know the white wire is what we're gonna end up running into this, but um, I guess we're gonna do it on zero, which will be the first one. We can do it on one, I guess, and then have the matching white wire go to the white wire. So this right here just slides right onto this and don't force it on, don't bend it. There's no clips, there's no nothing. Just take it like this. And then push it in nice and even all the way across. And that's it. There's nowhere to force it, no way to click it. It's in there and it's in there tight. So you don't definitely don't want to be pulling it in and out. So see how long these are? Plenty of length. So what we're going to do is I'm going to end up cutting a little groove right here. That way this can come on out. So instead of cutting this bad boy out, I, don't, I just I just don't want to do that. I was like, eh, and end up having to slice this down, this down. I don't want to weaken this across here. I want to drill a hole through it. So I ended up putting tape. I connected it right there on the bottom. That way it can't catch down through there. And then I'm going to take a step bit. It's plastic. It's not going to be hard to do. So, and then I'm going to feed these through out through there so i take that and I, you see how it is before it starts there's there's this literally a blank and there's nothing there so i'm gonna do it dead stare or actually i'm not gonna do it in the dead in the middle and do it more toward this way so i'm not as close to the computer board and uh, i'll start stepping down we could do it in the bigger one or this one i'm gonna do it in the tighter smaller one so i didn't even have to go all the way up with it this hole is gonna be just fine Started that through, see right there? I did up kind of right there toward the top. And then all the trash fell right there, got stuck on the tape. Most of it came back and fell out. So, plus it's plastic, you know, it's not gonna make a mess. If it was metal, yes, that would matter. And uh, I'd have put a lot more than just one little piece of tape and it would have done a little different, but that will work good right there. Cause then pull this out and then slide that through. All right, see how that goes? Just like that, right into the hole, fit just right. Let that slide down like that. Take this, pull it on through. And now I can take this, like I was talking about a minute ago, and get one of them little mini zip ties and put on here. That way nothing can be in the way. And then I got my own, another little harness right here. I'll plug that main harness back in. I didn't even have to take those two out. Uh, I'll slide that back in. Now this is, you know, on an MR2, so. Uh, Civic will probably be even easier. I don't know. Over there in the floorboard. So, uh, plus, you know, your wide bands coming this way, all that good stuff. With this one on the MR2, it's, I guess it's a little difficult, you know, because it's the wide band is actually down there. And then I have it wrapped around through coming in the wire harness part of the cabin over here. And then as it's coming through, it reaches pretty far. Uh, this one, I can go, I should have just enough to come all the way up to right here. But if I end up doing a cage or anything, I don't know. I, w I hope I have enough to come up and through. And I'd like to put like a mount right here in front of my face. Uh, on this one, when I had it test go and make sure everything's working good, um, you're gonna plug the positive, put a fusible link, put it into an ignition switch where, you know, not a constant power, but an ignition power. And I find a good ground. And on this white one, since I got to have this back to the Capro over here, I'm actually having to go through the harness uh, and I, I, I cut it clean because this is a used wideband. And then I'm going to run it all the way back through here. That way I can have this coming back <laughs> to the Capro. I might even have to add some to it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, let's get started and I'll uh, wire this up 
show you how to do it on the laptop. Well, I couldn't find any of my mini zip ties, so I should have put just some tape around like I did that one here. I ended up putting two more right here, and then I, I, I don't know why I did a whole round like that after I put that one on there. I went on and did white to white, so it's actually going to be on my number one instead of zero. Most people start with the red, but I wanted the same color. So, anyways, uh, I don't know if that, surely that won't rub or nothing in there. I may end up cutting that off and just doing a piece of tape on that. But uh, for right now, I went on, did that around. That's out of the way. I plugged this back in. This is run all the way around. Everything is connected now. Uh, got my power, ground, and now this is one of the older styles. So it's just the, the one signal wire, power, ground. And, uh, the blue one is for the AEM stuff. So we're going to plug up the laptop and see if it matches the air fuel. Let me say this real fast before we finish hooking this up real quick. This is the older style, and it literally only has the four wires. Your red goes to your positive, black, negative. White is what goes into this ECU for the analog. Blue is used for AEM stuff. <clears throat> I believe I said that right. I'll throw a, a little instruction clip right here. And also, I've got uh, the newer style AM one right here. It comes with a bunch of different wires. And on these, you've got to make sure all right, these two are your analogs, the white and the brown over here. And then there's a white with a black stripe. These two are your analogs. And uh, if you are using one of these newer style, the white will go to the ECU. And this is your analog ground. Apparently, this newer style has a lot more stuff going on. And uh, I'll throw a little instruction right here. This is one that was burned up in a car that my buddy got. And um, I actually tore it apart because I wanted to see if it was going to be any good. And the computer, the uh, old boards burned up. But back to this, I'll throw that, clip, or throw that clip in there. And then now, when you put this in. All right, so when you are loading this in for the first time, put go to uh analog inputs go down to i know this looks crazy on the phone or on the camera because of all the stuff going on i used number one like i said with the white so it match and then i scrolled down here and uh let's see it says input you gotta click on it right uh, there and then right here where it says conversion it's already got it in there. Mine was a 4100 series version. So I clicked on it because when you click on it, they'll scroll down and you'll have a bunch to choose from. I'm sorry, that's crappy. God, the way the light's shining. There we go. Uh, you got a bunch to choose from and scroll on down. And then after you do that, uh, like I said, mine was a 4100. So I clicked on it. And then you go over to close the loop. And then it'll, you go down to external wideband because you're no longer running off of the built-in wideband. You want to go to the external wideband. I clicked on analog one. I disabled the sensor heater, the sensor response, and the disabled the fuel overrun cutoff delay. And that's it. And then take that. And I got my new shin on. I'm going to go to the white button and send it so now let's crank this thing up and see how close it matches it's probably gonna be off just a, maybe a tiny bit because the computer the sensor sending it to the computer is going to read faster but you need to make sure that it's close um let me crank this up please be in neutral okay this is a weird position i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do where are the keys oh my god i'm find the keys all right, why is this script? All right, here we go. Ready? Oh. All right. Oh, I cannot stretch out like that. Oh, oh. Let's go right here. Hit the lightning bolt. Right. Hold this up here. Okay. 
catch up with it. But you can definitely tell the computer's rating faster. You can watch it. It takes this one a split second to get. When that hits 15 there, it takes this one just a second to catch it. But that's an older one. Go with the newer one. Maybe they're a little faster. But that is working. That's great. Staying in the 14 to 15 area. It's touching 13, but that's not bad. Yep. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm just gonna throw my cover back on too, and then I gotta make all this pretty. I really don't know where I'm gonna mount my gauge at yet. I just wanted to show y'all how to get it on, how to drill that and where to click it and change it in there. Uh, turbo's running good so far now. We'll see how it does once I, once I get this soon. Start boosting on it. We'll see how this eBay thing does. The other one blew up, but it wasn't its fault. I had a safety parameter hit because we had a fuel cut and I was like wide open, like 8,000 RPMs on that Civic. And uh, when it hit, oh my God. God, and it just said boom and it ripped that turbo into pieces but that was the the max peating rod ones and it's similar very similar but on this right here i got the ebay gt 3582 a tile a real tile wastegate old hks stop wall valve uh i use a top mount got it set up in there everything is looking really really good on here so far now i'm going to start tidying it up getting it to look better go for a little ride real quick we'll hit it down the road then i'm gonna get everything loaded up finish up my maps and start tuning on this thing and next time y'all will see this car it should be able to hit it hard down the track i told y'all next time y'all see it it'd be running and it is running with the turbo kit everything's almost to get or it is it's together i gotta mount up my fuel pressure regulator a little bit better right here finish everything up everything is coming together good though but uh we'll hit this oh uh, the bleeding this thing oh my god it took forever but heck i can't I, I love it i love it and i cannot wait to get going down the road in this bad boy but uh i hope that helps somebody hope y'all enjoyed it thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later